Hey everyone, it's me, Miss Shalonda. Now normally when I come onto YouTube, I always talk about entertainment news. But today, I'm going to talk about something that deals with you and me. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and any other new social networking site. I want to talk to this new generation. Everything should not be posted online. Some things should be kept to yourself, especially your relationship. Everybody doesn't need to know everything about your relationship. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to get into it. Hope you're ready. For some reason, today, it's sad to say, but people think, some, some people think that if you don't post it up, it's not real. And wrong. Sometimes the people that post the most, now let me put emphasis on that. Sometimes the people that post the most be the one that's going through the most hell in their relationship. They're either sad or upset and they posting up the pictures or posting up whatever they're saying just to sh keep safe face. Just to make people think that, yeah, we're still happy. Yes, we're still in love. Yeah, we're still doing this. Yeah, right. And then once you all break up, you start less, less, less posting up pictures and different things like that. And then when people call you up and say, girl, what's wrong? You want to look at the phone and be like, it ain't none of your business. Hello, you just posted all your information up. And now that y'all broke up, you don't want nobody in your business. First and foremost, you shouldn't have posted it up. Second and foremost, when you post things up for the world to see, don't get mad when the world start calling your phone. It's like the person, when they don't put stuff up online about I love you, I miss you, and I want you, I need you, you know, all that stuff like that. You feel like they're scared to admit that y'all love is real. Well, first and foremost, do you know it's real? Good. Does the other person know it's real? Good. So why should the world matter? I went online and I saw somebody was talking about, it's good that Rihanna posting up all these pictures and stuff like that. But then she come up with a song talking about nobody's business. Now, we can't help what the paparazzi, they can't help what the paparazzi put online. But you can help what you put online. Some pictures should not be posted up. Seriously. You know, let's, let's, let's really get, let me go back to what I was just saying. Let me reiterate what I'm just saying. About first things first. Sometimes the one that posts the most is the one that's going through the most hell. Now, I did say sometimes. I had to repeat this again because some people might say, oh, I don't do that. Oh, I'm not going through nothing. I just like to post it up. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to sometimes people. If you ain't, if it doesn't apply to you, don't say nothing. Back to what I'm saying. Sometimes the people that post the most be the one that is trying to prove to the world that they're still happy, but you know, you're not. Second, you know, some people think by posting pictures will keep others away. Ha! <laughs> Please, that's not true. Just because you pose you and him or you and her kissing under starlight or kissing under sunset or whatever... You think it's going to keep Tom, Dick, Sally Mae, Harry, and Jessica away from him. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Somebody told you wrong. Now, when I was young, I used to think that, too. I used to think if I told somebody I like this person, they would stay away from him. If I posted this picture up, they wouldn't mess with him. Uh-uh. That is like they want to mess with him even more just to mess with you. Or they want to mess with her even more just to mess with you. Pictures don't mean nothing, really. We see that y'all had a good time. That don't mean nothing. Some of these people gonna go. Some of these people are trifling, trifling, trifling people. But, anyways, my third point: it's okay to not post pictures up about your relationship all the time. Don't allow your friends to tell you that you have to post it in order for it to be real. Anyway, at times the real thing is unseen. Sometimes the best relationships are the ones that nobody knows about. Kept on the low. The only time you need to tell somebody about your relationship is when he put a ring on it. 
me personally, I feel like if you want the world to see you, hello, get off the internet, go out into the world. He's not ashamed of you if he's taking you out to dinner or, you know, taking you out to dinner, taking you here, taking you there. He's not ashamed of you. I mean, I can understand if all y'all do is go in the house and eat and watch movies and don't go anywhere. Mm, that's a sign right there. But if he's taking you out, it doesn't mean that he's ashamed. It just means that he don't want his business on the internet. Everybody don't need to know everything about your relationship. Why do you want everyone to know everything about your relationship? I mean, because once you let the world in, it's hard to get them out. But this is what I'm saying. Sometimes what I can't stand the most, and I don't really see a lot of guys doing this. I see more females doing this than guys. But I'm going to talk to both of you all. Why is it that you have to post up, I miss this person? Or I, or I, I can't live without this person. I do this, they do that. Hello? Don't you have a cell phone? Don't you have a Twitter account that has a DM? Don't you have a Facebook account that has an inbox? Don't you have a chat room? You have so many places that you can talk privately to this person, but you insist on posting online. Do you know that's a gateway for all my Christian folks, because I'm Christian. Do you know when you post stuff like that, I'm lonely, I miss him and stuff, that you're opening the door for the devil to come in. You really are. You're opening the door for the devil to come in. Because I'm going to tell you right now, if the third person in your relationship is not the Lord, then your relationship is doomed to fail. So serious about that. And the thing that kills, it, it really kills me when you, when you think that by posting this up or that up, it makes your relationship real. Sometimes you don't have to post anything. And the one that don't post anything be the happiest ones. Like, you just, they're just so happy. I just want to make it clear that you don't have to post for it to be real. And sometimes, people that do post, that doesn't make it real either. Sometimes, when you keep things to yourself and just let the world in and not at all, you're good. You're happy. Whatever. Why do you have to prove the world anything? As long as he or she knows that you and them are together, you're happy, you enjoy each other's company, why should the world matter? Hey, why should the world matter? You're not dating the world. You're dating that person. Why should the world care if you, you know, I miss him, I did. Call him up. It's okay not to post everything about your relationship. Because when you keep certain things, a relationship lasts longer when everybody's not in your business. But the sad thing is, once you open that door for the word to come in, it's hard to get the word out because the world's already in. So, why do we post? We only post for three reasons. To make it known to the world, to show to make a point or to prove a point. Now sit back and ask yourself this question. Why do you post? It's one of the three. And if you think of something else, I surely doubt it, but if you think of something else, maybe it's something else. But those are the main three reasons that I think why people post. Because I know that was the three reasons why I post. That's it. But when it comes down to your relationship, everybody don't need to know it. Be happy with who you're with and enjoy their company. Because all that matters is that other person. But when you start putting the world into your business and into your lifestyle, prepare for the world to say what they have to say about it.